become clear now. Some people are so messed up in the head, they're willing to do some fucked up shit just for their own pure entertainment. The world's truly gone to shit. While we were heading northeast, we had to go through Novi Sabor again. That's where we met this man. Sir, what's your name by chance? Uh, my name's Quinn. Nice to meet you. Wait, you're Quinn Bauer? Weren't you the one that was on the island? I'm Al. A small world. Oh. Hey. Yeah, Hi. I'm I'm one oh. of the guards. I yeah. I left the island for a little bit, but well, these Jesus. bandits saw me with the uniform and they almost killed me. Yeah. My guys are still on the island, but there's been bandits that surrounded Kamika and Camarovo. They yeah. they trapped us in when we came in, man. Jesus. But I was I managed to escape. Unlike many others. Oh, that's good. Oh, thank gosh for that. Yeah. Jeez, yeah, like like I did. Man, but, that place was hostile for a while. Yeah, I I tried to blend in with the the rest of the, the civilians. So when we get attacked, I could ambush the the attackers. But yeah. we haven't been attacked for a while, and we came inland to see what was happening. And then the ambush happened. Jesus Christ, man. Well, at least you're still alive. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if my friends escaped, but I I escaped. Yeah, and I hope they made it out. I hope they did. Al, by the way, uh, I came across the police uniform. Oh, is it something you guys are still collecting? Oh, uh, no, there's tons on the island, but if I were down the mainland, the masquerade is hunting me down. And other groups are trying to hunt me down, so I'd rather not try to get recognized. Yeah, that'd be best. Oh, smart, that. That's all multiple you, I was like. Hopefully this is not the masquerade of it is, I'm fucked. This is really good stuff, I gotta say. <laughs> I don't think I could finish this... this joint. <laughs> just, as soon as you feel like you're good, it's best if you put it out and toss it to fire. You don't wanna... Oh, I don't wanna toss this. I think I'm gonna it's keep it for fun. later. <laughs> Alright. Wow, the clouds are really yeah. good hey, looking Quinn. right now. Yeah? Quinn, I think I hear the police coming. What? I know, I hear them right behind the church. <laughs> There's no there, cops. There ain't no police, man. So what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I'm so goddamn thirsty right now. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have a drink. Since Novi seemed quiet, we decided to stay a bit. Where we met yeah. Joe Callista and Poppy Reynolds. All right, <laughs> I'm good. Joe had some marijuana cigarettes, so I decided to let loose a little bit. I was really not myself. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Probably a good idea. <laughs> hey, Raquel, oh boy. Yeah. If you close your eyes. Does everything get dark? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. You got me. I'm creeping around. Yeah. <laughs> One or two of the people that will listen might actually go psycho in So we didn't spend a whole lot of time in the town. <laughs> the way your face moves when you talk is absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Quinn, you feeling alright? Yeah, I think I'm good. He's going as well. I'm hungry though. I'm really hungry right now. <laughs> I'll bet a nice big box of chocolate chip cookies would taste good right now to you. Oh man, oh, man. I would I love some cold glass of milk. Have you ever noticed the way the clouds move? It's real mysterious. How about this, Clint? Think about a tree. Contemplate a tree. What is the tree? Oh, well, that's it. I don't know. <laughs> it knows me. Get close enough to can hear its heartbeat. Hello, you tree. The sun is really bright right now. <laughs> I'm hiding behind the door. I don't see what uh, some trees have to do about that. You trees know. Trees know everything. Do you think the sun smells like something? 
Probably. I'm sure it smells Probably like your face getting system. burned off if you go too close to it. So... So it smells like something. <laughs> I, I suppose I guess that's what I'm saying. Does water have a taste? Like, you know, or is it the yeah, taste of nothing? You know, because it has no <laughs> flavor. <laughs> Depending on what water you <laughs> have. Yeah, fly around me! All water too. It's attacking me! Uh, uh. I get what you call one of the doubters. You know, I haven't touched marijuana since fucking college. Uh, I don't know what's going on out there, but... I like to believe maybe they might still be alive. They, you know, they say women and children first, right? <laughs> and I uh, got both of those back home, so I think it's all gone to hell. And I think it's a matter of time until we all pass to. Uh, who knows? Well, everybody dies, Clint. I don't think I have any regrets, really, except for coming to this place. If I wouldn't have been here, then I'd be with my family, I suppose. Now, who am I kidding? I was touring all the fucking time. You know, I barely saw my daughter grow up and... I'm sure she doesn't resent you for it, if that's what you're afraid of. I'm sure she realizes that you were just trying to, to make a, a home for them and, and to provide for them. I won't be too worried about that. I really loved being on stage, though. It's a feeling like none other. Yeah, I bet it was, yeah, I bet it was such a rush. <laughs> well, it's I don't not, blame you for getting up there. It's not so much the people cheering, it's... making people feel good with something you created. And there's something about that that's just, uh... that feels right, you know? <laughs> I had people write me some letters saying that I saved their lives. Because of one of my songs. Well, we decided to go join the other guys. It was sort of getting late and we were tired. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling mighty tired you right now. You feeling any better? Uh, feeling a little better, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Just crashing. <laughs> I think I should go to bed. I'm really tired. Well, it was a real pleasure meeting you guys uh, two weeks ago. Well, we woke up, but he was not there. There was no note. We couldn't reach him on radio either. There's nothing. So we searched and we asked around. Oh my god, we might eat tonight. <laughs> Okay, uh... Did you want to kill him? Uh, your gun's a little more high power than mine. It is, but it's also very loud. I'll give it a shot. Ah, oh, nice shot. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, nice shot. Thanks, Link. At this point, food was becoming really hard to find. Hunting was almost the only option. About a week ago, I met up with Link Blackburn again. And we headed towards a place called Altar. Seemed like the perfect place to stay for a while. So we called the other guys in. And let them know where we were going to shack up. From a distance, we thought we could hear a woman in distress. Hello? Oh, shit. Buddy was unconscious. Oh, it doesn't look too good. That doesn't look good at all. But luckily, he made a right into our direction, since Link was a medical student. And, and they seem to, uh, no can... Buddy was with a nice lady called Lily Milanko. Mm. We chatted for a yes. while, while waiting for Buddy to wake up. I, uh, I stayed up in the woods alone for quite a long time and that was all right but then I ran out for food myself and uh, just the other day I came down out in out of the woods and into the town for the first time and I thank God that I met Buddy because I think I'd be dead many times over at this point. Wow. 
Yeah, he's he's such a kind man. He he's been with me for a few months now. I don't know. It's been so long. We found each other, and uh, well, we pretty much uh, pretty much stuck together for all this time until recently. He, uh, I don't know. We lost him somehow. He wasn't there one morning when I woke up, and well, I've been looking for him. I was hoping he was all right. He yeah, should be fine. Be all right. Yeah, can you do that? I, I always felt kind of responsible for protecting buddies. Usually, such a fragile man, you know. He's he, he's such a nice guy. He, he wouldn't hurt a fly. You know, he seems shy, but he um, whatever he says is often quite honest. And oh, that for genuine. sure. Yeah, it is. I wouldn't have. Well, I wouldn't have allowed him to be around me if he wasn't such a good guy, you know. And that's that's more than enough to say that he's worth saving. At least for me, anyway. He seems to be doing okay up there. Breathing is more steady, and his pulse is his pulse is getting a bit stronger. So Link here uh, used to be uh, what was it? <laughs> oh, the medical student before this all went down, and <sighs> have some experience at least with it. Oh, thank goodness, then we're in good hands. <laughs> if you gentlemen don't mind a moment, I'm going to go check on Buddy myself for just a minute, and uh, I'll be of back, course. okay? Yeah. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, of course. Cool. All we could do is just sit here and wait, and hope for the best. Then suddenly we could hear his voice upstairs. Quinn. Oh. oh my! Are you are you all right? Those jagged pants. You look you look better. Oh, I'm, I'm much better now. Thank you, guys. Oh. Oh. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Oh. He then explained why he was gone. I wanted to explain to you where I've been and why I've been gone for so long, really. We were looking for you for quite some time, and. I was just hoping you'd be all right, buddy. No, I'm only glad to see you right now. I guess I've been gone because, well, I, uh... Met Lily. You know, any friend of yours is a friend of ours. Frankly, he's been uh, teaching me quite a lot about how to, uh... How to, um, survive and things without him. I probably wouldn't make it. He taught us a, a thing or two as well. He's a really good guy here. I understand, buddy. You know I do. And anytime you need me, you know I got your back. You always have. Yeah. Thank you. You found a good one, I gotta say. Lily's been uh, nothing but nice. That was the last time I ever saw buddy. was a radio tower not too far away. I needed some air to breathe a little bit, so I left Altar and the guys and made my way there. I'd be back in a day or two. It is truly getting harder to survive out here. There are more and more dead ones. Towns are being overrun. People don't know where to go. They don't know what to do. It just seems like there's no way to find salvation anymore. I just kept walking until I found that tower. I settled inside the little shack next to it for about a day. I wasn't going to stay here just for a few minutes now. I wanted to explore all the possibilities. Anyone, please. Please, come in. Does anybody copy? This is Lieutenant James Morgan. I copy, sir. Who's this? Holy shit. Th th this is... this is Quinn Bauer. We're stationed in Huntsville, Alabama. Where are you located, Mr. Bauer? Uh, Huntsville. That's... that's in the U.S. Uh, I'm located in the... Uh, Chinaris. Uh, it's overseas. I 
god. That's where it all started. How am I getting this frequency? I was I was here the day it went down. I don't know how you get in this frequency. We're so far away. I, I did tweak this tower a little bit. I, I don't know, maybe that helped. Do you guys have the infection over there too? Yeah. We've been invaded with the infection here as well. Oh shit. Uh, we had attempted to send choppers to Chinaras to pick up any American soldiers months ago. None ever came back. You sent choppers? That must explain the ones I've seen here and there. Yeah, they've all crashed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but there's no way to send any help now, Mr. Bauer. It's every man for himself now, sir. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. There's absolutely no way. Absolutely no way. I wish there was something we could... I'm gonna hurt a woman. Mr. Bauer? Yeah? I believe there's someone here that wants to speak with you. Okay. Quinn? It was my wife. Is that you? Natasha, is that you? Oh my god. I can't believe it's really you. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't... How's this even possible? Is Alexia okay? Please, please tell me Alexia's alright. She's fine, darling. I had a lot of scares, but uh, thanks to Lieutenant Morgan and, and this group, we're safe. Oh, thank God. For now. Oh. How is it over there, honey? It's bad. Those things are, are everywhere now. I, I hope you're safe right now. We are. Can, can I talk to Alexia? Of course. Here she is. Daddy? I miss you, Daddy. Uh, I miss you too, baby. When are you coming back home? Uh, I don't know, baby. But you gotta listen to your mommy, okay? I promise Daddy's gonna try to get home real fast, okay? I do. I, I love you, Daddy. I, I love you too. You getting this? Come on. Hello. Do you still have my daddy bear? I do, honey. It's what's keeping Daddy safe every day. You more than ever now, Quinn. It hurt me so much not being able to be there. Yeah, I know. I want to be there so much. I wish I stayed home. I know. I had a feeling when you left for that place. But you were only doing your job, baby. You were providing for us. I know. I miss you. We miss you. See you guys so much too. Do you? Do you ever think we'll be uh, together again? I don't know, honey. I'm way over here and you're there. There's... I don't think there's a way. I love, I love you so much. I, I love you too. Natasha, honey, I love you. I was losing my signal and my mind. Baby. Honey. You getting this? Shit. Come in. I just wanna... I just wanna say something again. Come in. I might never hear them again. And I'm pretty sure I'll never see them again. But at least I knew they were safe. I miss you all so much. And alive. I decided to slowly head back to Altar and the gas. I felt really lucky and privileged to be able to speak with my daughter and my wife. 
even if it may have been for the last time. There is no more help. There's no more law. It's just a bunch of people surviving the way they see fit. So fucking... Come. Put your fucking hands up. Oh, I shit. Your fucking head. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. You, you don't need to do this. You sound... You sound so familiar. I do have to do this. How's it going from there, Quinn? I'm real good. Joseph? Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck, yeah. man? Still looking for your fucking family? You want your fucking you, family? I mean, shit, man. What, what, what the hell is this? What, why are you doing this, man? I, I don't understand. I, I did nothing to you. About survival. People like you were fucking weak. Fucking live in the past. Sorry, anybody I fucking run into. Keep talking about the goddamn past. Fucking Shit. different today, goddamn it. I, I, I don't put that fucking AK on the ground. Been watching you. I don't want to do this, but I have to. Hold on. Okay. Here it is, man. Fucking back up, Quinn. All right, all right. Take it easy, man. Back away. Turn around and count dirt. Can't fucking let you do this, man. Yeah. Calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck down. Shit. <laughs> Shit, where do I go? I can't run. I can't. You don't need to do this, Joseph. I could help you. Please don't fucking kill me, man. Shit. No! Oh shit! Shit! Oh, fuck! No! Let me go, man! Link told me before that he separated from Joseph. Joseph had some things to do, and he was looking a little off. I just didn't know it was gonna be this off. Maybe if I did what he said, I wouldn't have gotten this bullet in me. I can't believe he just turned on me like that. I can see why he turned for the worst. I should be expecting this from anybody now. He hunted me down for a good 20 minutes. Until I was able to get away. Shit, shit. I had enough strength to make it back to Altar. I don't want to become one of them. Help me. Uh, help me. Uh, over here. Shot. Oh. All right, all right. Hang on. Uh, let me run and get the others. Let me run and get the others. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's Quinn. Quinn's here. He's hurt bad. He's right out here. Come on. All right, hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. Uh, there's blood everywhere. Where you actually get at? Uh, in the shoulder, close to the lung. I don't know, guys. I can. He's out, he's out. Oh, that's a bad buffalo, but I don't know what to do about this. Like, come on, guys, I'm upstairs. I'm having fun down here, I'm getting pressure on that one. Might be going in the shop, but not much we can do. Get pulled through.
looks like it hit an artery too. Oh. It's like quite a lot. God. We did what we could, but we might not end up making it. Well, oh. terrible. God, I was wondering who did it. What do we do if he turns? Who's gonna be the one? <laughs> Who's gonna do it? You knew him. You knew him for a long time. I have. I. I'm just afraid. I don't. I don't know if I can do it when the time comes. He would I think want somebody you. else. Not, Somebody else has got to back me up then, Kate. Well, if it comes to, I think we all got to back on that. Alright. Well, let's just hope that it doesn't come to that. <sighs> I hear something. Is that you? Are you okay? Oh shoot, oh shoot. Quinn! Uh, Quinn, say something, Quinn, say something will you? took it on myself to make sure that it would happen. But I'm just going to trust that they're going to meet in a better place together. Maybe they already have, for all we know. They were waiting for him there. Rest in peace. You're a friend and a brother to me. Rest in peace, Quinn. Say hello to Danny for me. In honor of Quinn, on three... One, two, three. That was fitting, Burke. I can't believe he's actually gone. Now I know, within death comes true salvation. I told you you were too soft for this, Quinn. Thanks for leading me to the den. Let the slaughter begin. Hey, what's up guys? How y'all doing? Well, it's over. It's been a really awesome ride, and the first thing I would like to do is thank everyone that, that rolled with Quinn during his time. And it goes out to all you guys. Uh, this series would have been a really tough one to do without you guys. I mean, uh, you're, you're the core uh, characters around Quinn, and, uh, and uh, thank you for playing every almost every damn day with me. Uh, now to everybody else. I'm sure the big question on your mind is, well, um, it's over, so is there going to be another series? And I can tell you that there will be another series, yes. There will be a new character, I'm going to work on a new background, a whole new story, and a um, completely different guy from Quinn. I want to go uh, a really different route here, so I really enjoyed making this series. Uh, it was absolutely fun. It, it had to end at one point. I know it's super sad. I uh, I really got myself attached, but you guys have to understand I've been playing this character for six months, and that is a long time. I really feel like I need to move on to something different to keep the game vibrant for me, because yes, in the end it is a game, and I am playing it. Um, of course, I'm going to be taking a little break here and, and doing something different, and uh, 
and working on the new character, but there will be a new series, so you can count on that. I seriously, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for, for being there every damn week and, uh, you know, uh, subscribing and sharing and liking. I mean, seriously, you guys are my motivation, you know. You're, you're the reason why I do this. Uh, at first, it was just doing it for fun, and then the more and more people started to comment and subscribe, and, you know, it just started motivating me, you know, 100%. I just really want you all to understand that I'm very grateful for your support. I mean, seriously, thank you. Thanks. Times a million. I really want to thank everybody who contributed as well to um, my episodes, meaning the other point of view videos. Uh, to all you guys, um, honestly, thank you. Thank you so much, and I hope it, it still happens in the future with the new series. Uh, I would actually like to thank my real-life daughter uh, for actually doing the voice of Quinn's daughter uh, on the radio. She speaks nothing of English. She speaks French, and I was trying to teach her how to say these lines, and she actually pulled through. So I'm super happy about that. So Daddy loves you. Thank you to everyone that also contributed in any way, shape, or form to the series, uh, whether it being there, you know, in, in the episodes, um, you know, everyone who provided the great RP, uh, you know, that, that created the series. I mean, without you guys, um, it would just be me and the, and the guys, which would have been probably cool too, but, you know, the interaction with all y'all is just amazing. And I hope my new character is going to have just as much fun uh, with you guys. A special thanks to Brad Hit and Call Me Katika. Uh, they both uh, provided the voices um, on the radio uh, just before Quinn's death, uh, Lieutenant, and um, of course Quinn's wife. So um, thank you guys. Thanks uh, so much for taking the time to record those uh, for for the series and tying up some knots, you know. Now again, the question arises of, is there going to be any other game that I'm going to make a series on as well? And I've been having quite some fun playing uh, GTA V. Uh, I think there's a lot of potential with the editor in there, and I might have a uh, go at it and see what happens. You know, who knows, I might come up with uh, short stories or some character that I'll create and, and make it happen week after week, you know, for... Uh, for a whole season or something. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. So if you guys want, uh, in the comments below, I would really like to hear your input on whether what you'd like to see next time in the uh, next season. I would also love to know uh, what you guys thought about this last uh, episode, the season finale. Did you guys like this episode? Did you like the way Quinn died? Did you... You know, did you expect something different? Anything, guys, throw it in the comments below. Um, I want to know, and I'm sure a lot of people want to know what everyone thinks. So, um, and that'll help me, uh, you know, direct myself in a better direction maybe next time. So, for me and everybody in the Quinn gang, thank you for watching. And I hope you'll be back in the next season.